Do you have a heat pump or an air conditioner like the mini splits, the window units, or even the portable AC units that you use a remote for or even remote capable? Then keep watching. This is really something you're going to want to see. Welcome back everyone. Hey, I want to thank all my subscribers and the people who like the videos. You really do a great service to me and I can't thank you enough. And if you're not subscribed, it might be an opportunity now to maybe hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. It helps the video out, it shares it with others so we can bring you more. All right, when they asked me to do a review on this, I said that if I do a review, it will be an honest and forthright review for my community, good or bad, it goes on the video. Their reply to me was, no problem. So I said, send it. After I said, send it, I didn't think much about it because these things don't usually get me that excited. But after getting it set up, which only took a few minutes and I was ready to rock. Hey, let me show you what it comes with and actually what it does. Let's go ahead and go over the Celo Breeze Plus. It makes any air conditioner smart. Great unit. Let's go ahead and go over what's in package. We have a Celo Breeze Plus. We have the user manual, which is a really nice user manual that is full color helps out makes it easy to install you have your usb power a table stand and a wall mounting kit even comes with little screw goojers for the mounting of it here let's take a look at my top functions i like the best out of it number one you can control your ac from anywhere in the world with your smartphone you can even use a controller in local mode with its on device controls just like a normal thermostat you can manage and monitor the temperature, humidity, fan speed, and modes either through your phone or on the local controls on the device. Number two, hey, you can control this from your Alexa, your Google Assistant, Siri, and even Samsung SmartThings, which is cool. So if you want to automate your house, this is a great way to do it. The number three is that you can control it from anywhere in the world from your smartphone. Number four is comfy. Okay, Comfy is a set of intelligent triggers. Comfy mode lets you set triggers to personalize your operation of your AC. So it helps you automatically change your AC settings if the room temperature or humidity goes above or falls below a preset value. It saves energy with a lot of convenience. Now, number five, you can also lock temperatures with the temperature range control that gives you the flexibility to set the temperature range of your choice. So it sets it to a minimum and a maximum value. So what that does is your AC runs within that range and the set range is locked. So it can only be disabled by an authorized user, helping to ensure energy savings, especially in the hospitality industry, like Airbnbs and so forth. Number six. Hey, now this one is one of my favorites. It's called geofencing. Now this is where you can set it up to track where you are up to like 10 miles away from your home. It will start your preferred AC settings when you cross into a certain zone up to 10 mile radius. And it'll turn itself on. This is really handy if you don't want it coming on at a certain time because you're not home. So this just kind of tell you when you go home or when you leave. It'll shut it off or take it down to a preset. Whatever you need, it'll set that up for your geolocation that you set up. Number seven, it also has a very nice seven day scheduler to control it throughout the day and night automatically. Now they say it saves on energy at 25% of your electric bill. A good, you can't believe how much a good thermostat will do that and how well it works to save you money. Now really, the only thing I didn't like about this, um, it didn't have the option for the operating that on a battery. Instead, it has to be powered by the USB cable which is fine too, but I kind of like to have that battery back up. Now you can look on the back of it right here and you'll see where you can actually hook it up with a 12 or 24 volt, which is nice for all wall mounted units. Now it has a lot more detailed functions, but that would make the video way too long. Now you can check all that stuff out on their website for more information about that. As always, I always have all the links in the description for you so you don't have to go searching around for them. So please be kind. Remember to like this video. And again, if you're not subscribed, this would be a good time to subscribe. So I'll see you on the next one or this one here. Take care. We'll see you over there.